Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the field of semiconductors, China started late and its development is not fast. At the beginning, due to the high cost of self-developed chips, most of them were imported from abroad, which caused the development of Chinese chips to be dragged down again and the degree of dependence on foreign chips was relatively high. However, after Huawei was sanctioned, Chinese companies have realized that they must master core technologies to avoid being stuck. Therefore, with policy support, a large number of companies have poured into the chip track. According to statistics, from 2019 to 2022, a total of 40,000 companies in China have entered the chip track. A large number of companies have poured into the chip track, coupled with the vigorous investment of many top chip companies such as Huawei, SMIC, and Shanghai Microelectronics. The development of China's chips is very rapid. For example, SMIC has already conquered the technology of 7 nanometers process chips, but due to the lack of lithography machines, mass production has been delayed. Although China's semiconductor equipment companies have made many breakthroughs, for example, Shanghai Microelectronics announced that it has conquered the technology of 28 nanometers lithography machines, which will be mass produced soon. Harbin Institute of Technology has also developed the first EUV lithography light source prototype, and in breakthroughs have been made in the core technologies of the three EUV lithography machines, including ultra-high precision lasers, DPP EUV light sources, and power conversion. It is not difficult to see from this information that it is only a matter of time before China achieves mass production of chips, and top equipment, such as lithography machines, cannot stop Chinese technology. Although the United States tried its best to limit China to the 14 nanometers process field, it only ushered in the betrayal of many companies and the rapid progress of China's technology. Recently, it has been reported that the six photolithography machines purchased by Shanghai Jita Group from ASML have arrived in the mainland, and China's domestic 7 nanometers chips have been put on the agenda. The United States plan to exclude China from the world's semiconductor supply chain is completely shattered. Six lithography machines arrived in mainland China and the U.S. blockade failed. The United States signed a tripartite agreement with the Netherlands and Japan in order to prevent China from obtaining advanced equipment through export restrictions on semiconductor equipment, resulting in the inability to produce 7 nanometers chips. Although the United States knows that according to China's current development speed in lithography machines, China will be able to produce top lithography machines sooner or later. But for the United States, if it can hold back the development of Chinese chips for one more day, the advantages of the United States can be expanded. Therefore, the United States does not hesitate to sacrifice the interests of its own companies, but also to win over the Netherlands and Japan to restrict the export of semiconductor equipment. As far as the Netherlands and Japan are concerned, although doing so will also harm the interests of their domestic companies, they can only agree to it under the coercion and temptation of the United States. It's just that although Japan, the closest ally of the United States, has great restrictions, ASML in the Netherlands is unwilling to sacrifice its own interests to serve the U.S. plan. Therefore, 
ASML began to ship a large number of products to Chinese manufacturers while the restrictions were not yet in effect, including the 1980DI model lithography machine that can achieve 7 nanometers chip production under multiple exposures. Just recently, ASML successfully won the bid for six lithography machines, including some etching machines and lithography machines capable of producing 7 nanometers chips, under the bidding of Shanghai Jita Semiconductor in China. At present, these six lithography machines have arrived in the mainland, which means that the production of 7 nanometers chips in China has become a foregone conclusion. Although the United States continues to put pressure on Japan, Japan's semiconductor equipment export restrictions include 23 types of semiconductor equipment, and the process has also been upgraded to 45 nanometers process. But it cannot change the fact that ASML ships 7 nanometers lithography machines to Chinese manufacturers. After the news that the six photolithography machines purchased by Shanghai Jita Semiconductor arrived in the mainland, some American media said, can't stop it. In fact, if you look at this incident alone, it is indeed an exaggeration to say that it cannot be stopped, but combined with other recent events in the semiconductor field the United States may really be unable to stop the development of China's semiconductor industry. First of all, under the chip restrictions of the United States, major chip companies around the world, including Intel, Qualcomm and many other American chip companies, have been greatly affected. However, the United States not only has no idea of relaxing restrictions, but wants to further expand the scope of restrictions. This is naturally unacceptable to major chip companies, which has led to many American chip companies directly rebelling. Shipments to Chinese manufacturers began in spite of the U.S. ban. For example, the American hard disk company Seagate would rather be fined $2 billion by the United States than provide Huawei with 7.4 million hard disks. Companies such as NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm have also begun to launch special versions of chips for China to circumvent the restrictions imposed by chip regulations. And has repeatedly emphasized the importance of the Chinese market. Secondly, the production capacity of Chinese chips is constantly increasing, and the number of Chinese chip imports is constantly decreasing. For example, SMIC has now reached a production capacity of 170 million chips per month. According to data provided by China Customs, in the first four months of 2023, China's chip imports have decreased by 39 billion chips. Bill Gates has long warned the United States that restricting chip exports will only lead to the reverse effect of the technology blockade, but the Biden team does not take it seriously. Now the situation in China's chips is improving, and the United States is not only facing external troubles, but also internal troubles. Without the support of American chip companies, how long can the United States continue to dominate the semiconductor field?